Assassins, but more importantly, the Janet, Siva, and Ezreal ban Finally, from Yo-Yo Flash Rolls. Finally, they've adapted. Finally. And now we have the first pick from TPA, Lissandra, being actually a really good first pick, but I'm not entirely sure if the right first pick, because we have Velkos open, we have Nar open. I mean, Velkos, sorry, uh, Rek'Sai <laughs> open. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, with Velkos open? What are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> yeah, so I'm not entirely sure about that first pick. Then you have the Kazarin Corky. Maybe too much AP damage, actually. Maybe too much AP damage, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, we have already locked in a lot of AP damage here, so yeah. I'm not sure how this match will go because, <coughs> okay, Flash was opting to go to the Morgana again, which I'm not really sure if that's the right thing, but they have a game plan for this tournament, so they will stick to it, and we probably will see a Clara <laughs> coming out of them. <laughs> the game plan is just Morgana, right? It's, <laughs> it's just Morgana, <laughs> and just lock it in. I mean, uh, on the other hand, uh, you, have, you have Nar, actually. Nar is actually really good against, yeah. against that much AP damage. You can you can build a, a hex drinker, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're actually really strong, and then when you're tanky enough and you get the upgrade of hex drinker, you do a lot of damage. It's actually ridiculous because you have a lot of HP pool, and because of the percentage of of HP, Ooh. you get a lot of damage. Thanks to that, Caitlyn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm actually shocked by the. No one uses Graves. Graves has been yeah, so so good and so popular, true. and they don't really like it here, but. It should be used because Graves against double AP compositions, he can just snipe someone from the back and it's very, very good for that purpose. And even if he's got close range combat, like he is very tanky. He's like the tankiest AD carry because of his passive. But um, yeah. Of course. Like, uh, Graves is actually good against Lucian and, yeah. and Corky, both of them. So, and no knowing that Sivir is banned, which Sivir is actually pretty much the only corner in lane to Graves. I would actually have one for, for Grace. I think Caden is not that great of a pick. Uh, he is actually very situational. You know, you, you then see Forgiven <coughs> destroying everyone with Caitlyn. But um, normally, not everyone is Forgiven. I don't know how he pulls it out, to be honest. But Caden is, yeah, not that great in comparison with others right now. So, yeah, what we have here is right now we have uh, Lissandra, Corky, uh, Cassidy, and Javan. All are very, Huge very mobile. AP as so, well. we have a lot of assassination. And that's usually Ooh. how you work. Well, that's good. That's yeah, good. That's I like that, actually. That's I like good, that yeah. a lot. I like this pick a lot because this is giving you automatically the late game just by default. Of course, uh, if it comes to late game, they will have way too much AD damage. But Jace automatically gives you the, the late game. That, that hero is really broken late game. And, and having Morgana on board will sort of um, stop the Annie's stun on, on Jace. And if Jace can attack these squishy targets, it, dead. it fits really well with the fact that they've got the Rek'Sai and Nar, so they can actually siege down turrets right now. With, yeah, the, with the Caitlyn so alongside him, so they can keep Caitlyn, keep of course. It's, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Really good, yeah. What's really good is here, um, Lissandra and Kassadin both are flex picks, so they can both play top lane and mid lane. <coughs> and by picking the Jace, you make sure that no matter where Kassadin goes, he has a bad matchup. So that's very important to know that both of these champions actually counter Kassadin very hard in lane. And I'm surprised that not a lot of teams are doing that when an enemy picks Kassadin that, like that, and they tried to flex pick it. You just pick two counter picks like this, and I really like the Jace here. Yeah, I'm I'm a very big fan. Yeah, of Yeah, on, on the other hand, Jace is actually really risky for top lane. Like we've seen Darian dying 14 times but a game. It's Darian, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> that's true. <actually>. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bad example. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was literally the worst example you could have thought. Yeah. I mean, man, it, uh, it didn't uh, matter which <laughs> champion it was, right? <laughs> Yogi's aside, like you need to be really good, Jace, to play top lane. It's not that it's not that easy top lane. He's not playing top lane though, so he's playing mid lane. Yeah, so it's good. all good. It's all good. So of course now will be in that top lane. So if you just join us, ladies and gentlemen, Game 3 is getting underway. It is Intel Extreme Masters Taipei. We've had some fantastic qualifiers and semifinals. This is the grand final. It's a best of five. And the Taipei Assassins won the 2-0 up. But it seems that Yo Flash Wolves have finally adapted. Can they take the first game? The game's underway. Let's get into it because starting things off, the Taipei Assassins, I'll quickly give you a roster rundown for the TPA. They're going to be playing on the blue side this time around. It is going to be morning on Lissandra. Wins once again on Jarvan. Has played a magnificent tournament so far on this Jarvan. Chawi, he's on Cassidy in the mid lane. Lupin. He's finally off Siva because that has been a real thorn in the side of Yoi Flash Wolves. He's on Corky this time around, and Jay is on Annie once again. On Annie once again. Let's see how it works. I like, I like the overall setup, but it's maybe too much AP. You know, it maybe could have worked actually if the Yo's um, Yo's uh, Wolves top laner wouldn't have been that tanky. I mean, at the end, it's Nar, you know? It's hard to deal with when you have that much AP damage. But let's see how it works. If TPA wins the early game, they have 
disgusting champions when they're ahead. <laughs> well, let's go through the Yo Flash Wolves. Stake once again. He's on this tank. He's on now. It's a champion that's worked very well through him throughout this tournament. Casa once again on Rek'Sai. It's a champion that didn't quite work out so successful for him in the last matchup. Maple, he's on Jace. That's a champion that he played, I think it was against AHQ in the league uh, the other week. And actually, didn't play this time around. We, I, I distinctly remember talking about why did Maple not go to Jace? It's a champion he does know. So, NL, he's going with the Caitlyn. Going to see how this one works out. We just talked about how uh, Unforgiven, uh, not Unforgiven. Um, unforgiven? Uh, forgiven. I was, un <laughs> I was thinking, unforgiven. thinking of un it's Unlimited. Unforgiven now. Unlimited, it used to be alongside him. It was the, the combo, but Forgiven uh, has been playing it. But Sword Art, well, he seems to just be really quite excited about Morgana because they absolutely lock it in. And again, it was the third pick for them. So let's see if it works out for him. Yeah, they, they have uh, quite an okay setup, actually with the long range from Jay's, Caitlyn, plus the Morgana binding. Honestly, it really depends on the early game, like many games actually, but this, this game especially, because unless they get ahead, unless TPA gets ahead, they will have a problem. Well, traditionally they have been ahead. Yes, that's in, correct. In early Yo. game, so <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if we're going off statistics, then that may just happen, but no, here with Flash Wolves, came close in that second game, we'll see what they can do here mm. in game number three. <clears throat> See that? Chowick versus Maple in Ooh, the mid lane. Bit of a difference bot down lane, in the bottom bot lane. lane. Are we going to see it? No, the, we are not oh, going to see it. That doesn't, doesn't matter, guys. Wait, Nothing is going on. We can see Morning Flash in red pips. He got caught by a dark binding and almost killed instantly the moment he came to lane. He actually got to lane a lot quicker than uh, Stake did, who you can see is still going with that buddy system with Castle. But yeah, he's already forced to go back and using the teleport to get back in that bottom lane. Let's hope he doesn't get caught by Sword Art a second time around. He has got Jay with him this time. Yep, and he coming through. Actually, he was trying to sneak into the brush, but he's going to get hit by a dart binding there. The Piltover <laughs> Peacemaker will join it as well. And a lot of lane. damage, a lot of damage straight away. Do you just uh, think with Caitlyn not being... Oh, hello. Oh. Casa and Stake. This is going to be a four-man dive. We're going back to it, season it two. It may work, eh? It may work because... Their level, oh, it may work actually. Oh, he didn't hit the, the Q. Yeah, Sword Art's tanking the turret too much there. And now he's forced to back away. What I was saying is the Dart Binding and the Caitlyn Piltover, you know, that combo, it's almost a forgotten about one. They're still going to go hey, for it nonetheless. Oh, what a great Dart that Binding. Good, yeah. Catching Morning out beautifully done. That will be first blood. Jay also in trouble. We're going to see Casa tanking this one out. And they're completely fire, missing man. the Piltover. Jay does manage to pick himself up a kill, but that will be a double for NL, the AD carry in the bot lane. That was that was actually really good. Like the, if you see, they tanked a lot of tower shots. They they did it very well. It was uh, I, at some point I thought they will they will end up losing the game by that, but it ended up well. Maybe yeah. Nar shouldn't have died, but maybe they end up winning the game now yeah, because that, that, yeah. I mean NL starting off with a double kill, which means starting off basically now after four minutes with a pickaxe and boots on top of mm -hmm. his Doran's blade means that. Well, yeah, who's going to go into the lane against him now? Corky has got double CS because of all the action going on. Or Lissandro is going to walk in there and just get poked down instantly. Yeah, oh. Another, I mean, no, no, no. I think, I, I believe uh, Kaden is actually a good pick against Corky anyway. So now that she's 2 0, you know that as soon as they yeah. 2v2, they're going to have the upper hand in the lane. And of course, despite that oh, CS, CS advantage, oh, Sword Art's just going to use that black shield and block that one off. Despite that CS advantage, of course, it does mean NL is ahead in gold because yeah. obviously he got them two kills, mm. first blood included in there. And across the board, everybody picking up all those assists. It has worked out very well for the OE Flash Walls. But look at the top lane. Stake very deep, caught out here. In comes wins. Should be able to hop, skip oh. and up, jump away from this one. Yeah, yeah. Stun locked up nicely and Lupin gets a kill of his own. Yeah, that's a very needed kill for TPA. Without that kill, Corky would have got a lot of trouble when, when he faces Caitlyn, but now he's sort of even, actually. He's well, going to be sort of even. like the fact that Yo uh, doing a bit of invading as well. We'll take away that Raptor camp, knowing that Jarvan is up on the top side of Matt Maple actually Whoa. going aggressive here. Needs to be careful. Windsor's coming in. Sword Art from the back. Maple's actually going to get off to the side. The teleport from Stake as Everyone well. It's here. all very messy, but I think Chowie Whoa. is going to go down. Carter will be able to lock him up with the knock-up, and that is another kill going back this uh, this time in favor of the Yoi Flash Wolves. Well, I think they've got something to prove in this one, the Yoi Flash Wolves. They're not very happy about going 2-0 down so easily effectively to the type A assassins and they 
Absolutely don't want to go out a 3-0. So, a couple of kills being picked up by them. They're still moving as this one solid unit very early yes. on in the game. This, this way of playing reminds me of, of the Koreans. Like we, I was speaking with Dexter yesterday. Uh, he, he pointed this out and he's actually very right. The way that the, the, the fact that they train against Korean teams, you can see it right here. There's a little fight, level 2, level 3, level 4, doesn't matter. They will all appear, you know? They will all show up except the Eddie Carey. Yeah, no boot sport for Sword Art yet. He's been going for the mobility so early on, but you can see he's used that sight zone, so they're going to try and get some vision advantage over the Taipei Assassins early on here. Jay and Wins once again making a visit to the top, but this time around Sword Art is not there because he's with his jungler off the side. Karsa, oh, I tell you what, if he shows there, Karsa spotted him. They got yeah, the pip, they caught the blippers, he's underground. Millions, they may actually try and take him out, he's already going to back away. Look the farm difference, top man. This this could be game changing actually. Twenty nine to five. That it's I, not it's brutal. That big a goal difference though, because he got those two assists. It's actually only two hundred goal difference at the moment. Three hundred goal difference. So it's it's not equating to too much. What about and the Anar really will just build tanky, yeah, whereas Lissandra obviously needs those items. That's true. He did also start with a crystalline flask mm -hmm. because he was in that two v one lane which has kind of backfired because look at that, Doran's in Crystalline Flask, neither are going to go into anything, so that's effectively money wasted. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're totally right, actually. It's not that much of a, of a difference. Now we'll always get the farm, now we'll always get tanky enough, and also Crystalline Flask is wasted money. Yeah. Well, I mean, when he was obviously <laughs> wasn't expecting a tower dive maybe that early on. Look oh. at oh, mid lane, Maple going to get caught out here. Will he be able to get away? In comes Casa. does get the knock up, but the stun from Jay was enough to hold him down. They may get it, make it a double here. casa has got to be careful. He doesn't get picked off and they will back away. TPA answering in kind with kills. That's why you pick Blasting One with Casarin early. Sometimes it's good if you know, if you expect a lot of early pressure, a lot of early actions then Blasting One is actually a really good thing. It actually saved uh, the bot lane as well. Um, Sword Art was waiting in the tri bush down the bottom for a long period of time. We're getting ready to come around the backside of Lupin, but instead obviously had to come up and try and help out in that mid lane. <laughs> he <expects> him. <laughs> He's uh, smelling it. Like <laughs> a steak. He's like, nope, <laughs> getting the hell out of here. And what rightly so, because Winston J were just off in the bush. This actually gets in your head, these kind of actions. This is good. Yeah, this is nice from... Yeah, we, they know that Jarvan's yeah, top you. side, and they are just going to go straight in, and they cannot even see that this one is going down. So, first dragon of the game, going to go over to the Yoi Flash Wolves. And that is a nice little pickup for them. We'll see how this one all develops. You see there, Maple going to get himself that Brutalizer soon enough, already stacking up that tier as he goes. For Chowi, you mentioned Blasting one first, especially since he doesn't really need that sustain coming out. Of the uh, of the catalyst when you've got the flask in there anyway, like no, yeah, he should have needed if if Jace would have been playing on his best to be fair, because Jace should should be painful against against Cassidy, you know. I think got to land you shock blasts. <clears throat> yeah, well, or oh, auto attacks. I mean, yeah, if, yeah. If he, if the farms, for me, if if the farm is even there, then Jace has not been harassing him enough. Exactly, surely. exactly. You need to be extremely aggressive when it comes into to this one v ones. There are some 1v1s you have to play defensive, such as anything with uh, with uh, Seraph, for example. But in this situation, with just one to win the lane, you're against Kasarin, man. You should at least get this plus 10 creeps, at least, you know? Mm. Well, of course, <coughs> has been a, a lot of gank, so maybe that's been distracting him at the moment. Dragon is picked up, though, don't forget, by the O Flash Wall. So they are one dragon up, despite the fact the gold is even, the kills are even, the towers are even. Across the board, they do effectively have that advantage with the 6% AD and AP that that buff will give them. Every game uh, has a, a strategy, okay? Every setup has a different strategy. The strategy for uh, for the Wolves in this game is obviously push towers. Look at this. Look at the setup overall, right? So they have to manage, they have to find a way of getting the bottom tower so then Caitlyn can go mid and get the mid tower, so then they can go top and get the top tower. You know, they have to move as, a, as three men, actually, and try to get... Uh, as many towers as possible early because otherwise they're going to get outscaled. Maybe not scaled, but out uh, team fight. Yeah. Just like in previous games, Taipei Assassin starting to get the wards down on that second blue buff spawn. We do see that Maple is about to go across to it. Rexai starting it off. I think Wins is actually going to let them have it. Oh, they're still teetering around the edge of it. You can see also down the bottom, Annie is heading down towards that, although he, oh, he got it. just got caught by oh, a uh, thing. Yeah, and Castle's actually been forced to pick that one up, so Jace didn't take it. 
Or, well, well, rather than false, it. I think he just took it, man. I mean, <laughs> There's no force there, man. What is this? <laughs> this has no excuse, demon. No excuse. I uh, like how many steals? How many? I mean, if I'm the mid laner, I don't even. I don't. I don't keep playing the, the tournament. <laughs> it, it, it's it's over. <laughs> I go back home. It's just like I'm done. I'm done. They keep taking my blue buff, man. This is unfair. Sorda tries to get the dark binding on Lupin whilst forced to back away. Remember, we are on 5.1. That Valkyrie. He has uh, 100 mana now, I feel, on the, on Lupin, so costing him quite a lot to back away. And, well, he's going to keep that farm ticking anyway. He's got built <laughs> he up the advantage. No <laughs> it's just funny, man. It's just funny because you you, you put yourself in, in Jay's situation, in Jay's brain right now. You just <laughs> destroyed, man. 2-0 yeah. behind, no blue buff. It's like, oh, look, the lane's right in the middle. I can keep far... Oh, wait, I've got no yeah. mana left because I don't have that blue. So I'll just go back. Finishes off his Brutalizer at the oh same well, time, though. Bad. Wards are in there as well. So I suppose with Cassidy backing off, it's not really that much of an issue for him. Although Cassidy's <coughs> going to come back into lane with he only got Rod the of Age. Just, no, no, he's, he's already no. he's already halfway up. Yeah, he only finished off the Catalyst there. So didn't quite have enough money for that one. We hear Rek'Sai screaming across the map as well. He'll be getting back underway on his jungle path, picking up a sight stone there. So should the, uh, the, fla the Flash Wolves now be getting a little bit more vision down with those two sight stones? Yeah, it's going to give him a lot of vision. Obviously, the, the side stones were picked up by Sword Art early on as well. But you can see Taipei Assassins, they've got good vision in the jungle. Castle will take away the wolves. <laughs> His maple coming across the steel. <laughs> <laughs> I would have guessed one of them. I would have shock I was flashing a shock blast that, that thing. He's like, screw you! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, he, he's not going to steal them away. If only Wins you could exhaust your own teammates so that he can't steal <laughs> it. <laughs> Or ignite or kill. Yeah, just, or just deny. Yeah. You know. Just get rid of him. Well, the battle for the ping ward is real. Oh, Wind scores will. out with the dark binding, but Lupin and Jay are there, which will force. Yeah, even though the goal is pretty away. even, I can see TPA being actually pretty ahead in terms of pressure. And in the next team fight, you will, you, yeah, you can see it. Like Corky, as you just pointed out, uh, Demon, Corky has the Trinity Force, while uh, Kaylin doesn't have the, the power spike yet. Mm. If they team fight right now, it's actually crucial. Good, good work from Anella. Went for the uh, the Avarice Blade, so knew that obviously he wasn't going to get there so quick. Of course, did um, go for that Rise Blade early on, so means the Infinity Edge will be a little bit delayed, but he will be getting it soon. Did get those two early kills on him, so that's kind of sped up the Caitlyn. You generally get that lull, don't you, in the mid-game with the Caitlyn when you just need those items, and maybe that helped out early. Looking at this Sword Art and Casa, they're waiting around. Are they going to go for something? Oh, Wins is going to get spotted. I think Castle was just going back for the pink ward. Wasn't expecting Wins in there. It's in a hole. It's going to keep him alone. That's him, big damage. Ooh. Teleport cancelled out there. Sword Art keeping Morning at base. So this is huge, actually. This is mm. huge. With the dragon up in 30 seconds, that exactly. is massive. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a decision now. Try and keep him away with what they've got on that bottom side of does morning walk down there at this point while uh, the, the wave is really pushing good. against him there as well i don't think that's what, not uh, what they're going to do we can see yo actually moving up again into the enemy jungle both players that have got sight stones so they can completely cover that one oh, actually wow. they're going to come tower around well? the back of the tower here and try and finish that one off there's only jay hanging around and he's not going to be able to do it. a they whole lot it. they should get it they should just risk and get it yeah, yeah, they're exactly going to take it. Rek'Sai oh. is still nearby. Sword Art in trouble. Oh, get caught out by Jay. Tibbers pins him down. And now Cass is in trouble. In comes State. Teleport slams in there. Takes down Chowie, the mid laner. And with the dragon just spawning, this may well be advantage, Joey Wolves. They could have very well get it. I mean, it's worth, it's, it's worth a try, right? The mid tower this early with a setup with Caitlyn plus. Jay's. They're holding off. Uh, you can see Stake. He's going to run to that top. They don't want to lose that top lane yes. as well. Good call. So Lupin just trying to uh, get in position to actually knock him away. We'll see Carson coming right back in to the mix as well. But look at that tower in the top lane. Morning just chunking that one down this entire time while Stake's been on his way back up to that top lane. Won't be able to finish it off here, though. And we kind of go back to it. But they've brought out the teleport, which means neither of those two can now get involved. Well, it did delay enough that the... Uh 
Man Immune could get picked up for Maple. We haven't quite got the Infinity Edge on NL this time around, though. Sword Art, is he going to try and catch someone with that binding? Goes, fires off to mm, Jay. Max Range dead. almost got onto him. Absolutely. Castle would have jumped straight for it. The OE Flash Wolves are in position to try and start this Dragon off. They don't have, of course, the top laner. Morning is backing away. If he goes, he's going to give his tower up to, sword, uh, to stake, which is why he's had to stick around. Now, Castle. Please. Kasa, please. Is <laughs> I think what happened right is he went with the Shock Blast. And it just didn't quite do enough damage, and I think Carcer accidentally took it. This time, there now, Maple's go. got well, it. Laser always an excuse, man. <coughs> well, he has took it. Pressure of the finals. <laughs> I've got a lot of them. I've got okay, them stacked okay, up. Yeah, yeah. I've had to cover for these junglers for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what, what role do you play normally? Younger, right? No, no, what actually, you? normal mid lane. What are you? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Really? So it annoys me just as much as you, but yeah. <laughs> You're a Russian spy in the mid lane, actually. You're actually a, a hidden jungler. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen there that, that dragon has been pulled out of the pit. That ward just around yeah, the corner, a good and yeah. well, they can't do anything. They then can do nothing about that one, and that will be the second dragon then being picked up in easy fashion by the Yoi Flash Wolves. They hold a nice little gold lead, plus those dragon buffs. Sling good, man. And the one to zero tower lead as well. That could well, well be two shot. to zero. Yeah. I mean, there's a one shot for pretty much anyone at this stage. Is that tower? They should just get it, man. This is this is more important than you can imagine. Their setup requires to get the Tier 1 towers ASAP. Well, they're going to clear out the wards. Although Kasa went over it. He didn't even spot it. I mean, he, he, got, the, he got the buff on him, but didn't spot it out there. And actually, that may well cost them. It's, of course, certainly give position for Morning. He's going to get spotted. Shock Blast doing some serious damage already with that uh, man immune and Brutalizer completed. Should do a bit more. Mm. It's, at, th at this point, uh, Jace should be the strongest in the game. He has these three, four minutes, three, four, five minutes. He should be the strongest in the game, especially with the blue buff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, that's yeah. That's some more damage. Okay. That's because wait, does he have? I, I don't. I don't understand why Ani took that much damage and Lissandra didn't. Uh oh. oh there's a fight. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's, uh, Stay it's locked a up by Lissandra, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's quite impressive. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. But uh, yeah, now caught out, taken down. That is the mid turret going down, though. So it was a kill traded for the mid turret. TPA maybe invested a little too much to get that single kill. They will get the top turret, though. That's going to go their way. And that's the second turret of the game for TPA. What's the right call right now? The right call is to divide Caitlyn and Jace. And uh, for example, let Jace stay alone mid and go three to four people around the top side and get the tier one tower top. And then you can open up the map. You can get worse in their jungle. You have a lot of range. You can poke up and you can start aiming for those tier two towers. Their setup, their setup requires those kind of moves and it requires it now because later on it's going to be too late. Well, let's see. For now, it's going to be about buying up whatever they can, which will be pickaxe, puts lucidity for Jace. Caitlin. Also got that Infinity Edge on uh, on the last return home, so going to be in Shiv coming in next of all. Meanwhile, Chowie just trying to freeze this lane down the bottom, stop that one from pushing away. This is this is the problem. Catherine is going to start to be looking for uh, solo XP in the side lanes. They really need to group up as soon as possible, really. Also, Jace is about to end his last whisper. That's like the best point in the game for him during three minutes or four minutes, and he has to use it. Go together as five and use it. They can win the game by that right now. Well, the top tower is going to be picked up by the this o Flash Wolves. Exactly the call they needed to do. Exactly the call. Perfect. Oh, they're backing away though. They're still so cautious. Don't trust themselves in the team fights. Maybe I don't know. But now that NL's there, they will pin it down. That'll this be good. the tower going down. This is really good. There's no other way to play the setup. They're gifting the bottom lane though. I feel to. Oh no, he's going to back away. Looks like uh, Chow is not going to stick. <laughs> Still pushing as a hiccup. <laughs> Where did the hiccup come from? That will go out of the blue. Well, we've hit 20 minute mark now, so Baron on the map. As Wind's just spending a little bit of time to spoil Caster's fun, get rid of his tunnel system. Chow is pushed up on that tower now. The if you look the at the mini map, yeah. yeah, he may just get caught out in this scenario. Maple gonna come charging okay. down the river as well. Who else is oh. there? Morgan. Oh, well, well he ate it. That is literally the worst thing that could probably happen but to you stopped. there. But oh, they stopped? This is not smart. Well, I think they, they were just, for sure. I think they were scared of losing the mid lane, and then L maybe took a bit of damage from uh, Lupin, yeah, maybe took a rocket there, which is why they're coming back around, and they're gonna try and go for Lupin in Instead, just slam out the wave, force him back. 
And well, yeah, they, they made the right call. I'm just too greedy. <clears throat> I was uh, my eyes were red, full of anger towards Kazarin. Is this something that used to happen a lot in the game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. I, I tell you, like I, I, I make um, a lot of actually good calls, but I make a lot of bad calls, and the bad calls are mostly these ones. Where we chase and chase and chase and lost towers. They're going for towers. it. They're around yeah. the side. Sorda, is, really is he going to catch him with the dark binding? That's the question. Ward goes down though from Taipei Assassins. This tower may well fall. They are going to gift Morning the top great, to though. it though. Now they're gonna they going to go for it. Jay gets caught out. He's going to get dropped. Nas not going to turn yet. Stakes a long way off from that one. They are surely. I'm going to have a peek towards that top turret. Morning is doing the damage to it. Stakes going to TP up there. That will keep we'll it safe. And that is going to keep them at the tower advantage. Four to one now for the UA Flash Wolves. See how strong this setup is. The way they are playing it is perfect. You can see how they are used to play this kind of setup because they understand they have the, the long range. They understand they shouldn't team fight unless Morgana catches a binding. And that's what they're doing. Just going as four or as five, just pushing together. And when Morgana hits somebody, kill him. If Morgana doesn't hit, just push safely. Really, really good. Well, we were talking about changes in item builds. Look at Kasa. This time, Warmox is uh, picked up there because he's against a predominantly AP heavy team. He's not going for yeah. that Randy and Zerman, which, of course, wins this time around. Will have to build. He, he is technically building right, although he's building the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we saw also NL went back, finished off that static shift thanks to the kill they got down bottom, plus the tower as well. Finally, we see TPA here trying to get some control back in their own jungle because they've just been pulled around with losing those towers. Now, just that out, uh, that inner ring in the middle and the top lane to defend. But for now, it's going to be all about the dragon. This will be the third one of the game for the Yoey Flash Wolves. That's how you waste your gold. No, they want to contest it. This is going to be the fight, guys. This is the this is the most important moment of the game. The most important. So that took a lot of damage early on there. Oh, oh that shot over. blast. <laughs> that, that may well just keep them away there. The AD carry and support both catching that one square on the jaw. Dark binding on wins as well. That's going to keep them out of it. Dragon's gone down. Oh, In they go. God. Yeah, and that is Nar just going to town on the Mir. We will see Lupin try and get away. He will be finished off in the end, though, by Maple. will get a double. Chowie will be able to escape to recall. Morning Baron. was is just on the bottom side of the map. Not even a part of that one. And the Yoey Flash Wolves going to walk straight up towards Baron. They get Dragon number three. They're going to get the first Baron of the game. They're up in towers. Looking very, very good now. While that this is happening, though, Morning's actually doing a good job. The top tower went down. He may even get the bottom one. He's putting work on that. Baron picked up. So he's doing literally what TPA, all they could do. Not sure if he's going to get the tower, but he's certainly going to get a hell of a lot of damage on it. Yeah, he's doing what he can, you know. He can he can do more than this. But uh, you saw the, the, that was a flex point. That was the, 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 the most important point of the game. And that shock blast, man. That literally decided the game. That little shock blast. Not so little shock blast there. Yeah, actually <laughs> pretty was beating shock blast. Pretty brutal, pretty yeah. brutal one. And uh, he's actually not far off completing the man immune into Muramana. So once he gets that on there, it's going to have some serious damage. Chowie, meanwhile, chasing that Zonya's hourglass. Caught out heavily by NL there. That static shift getting that proc on him did a serious amount. Look at NL. He's got that uh, Quicksilver Sash also picked up. So even if he gets caught out by morning, he should be able to escape. Or obviously, Jay, we haven't seen too many flash Tibbers coming out because. He hasn't got that silver speed up this time around. This is huge. The way, you know, Jace is divided in, in, in two times, you know. The the first half of the game where he's sort of like a caster and you use the shock blast and just do damage, even they get the Q in melee form because people don't have enough damage. And then late game, you just become an AD carry. And it's an AD carry with more damage than an AD carry. So to get to that point, you need to be even or ahead. And they're ahead, so they're in the perfect position to win this game. And we talked about how much magic damage actually TPA had. You can see the Spirit Visage yeah. is being built out here, or are they going to be Banshees? Depends, whatever. Doesn't matter. Baron buffed up, Minions pushing down. That tower's going to drop. Nothing Taipei is going to do about this. They're playing really, really good. Pushing straight in, to be honest. TPA, they pushed around. Thankfully for them, those gates are now in the game, which means they're closer to their own tower, but it's not going to matter. They're going to go down from now, and there's the flashing from Morgana, but will they be able to actually pick this one up? It's a little bit oh, messy, yes. but it is Maple <laughs> that will get onto Annie. They already lost Jarvan before that. That's the inhibitor down with Baron. Will they go any further? No, they're actually going to play this the safe yeah, way, smart. head down towards bottom. Yeah, no reason to risk too much there. 
They are just picking up kill after kill, though. And there seemingly is nothing that Taipei Assassin's going to do. Look at this. They're trying to set up another gank bush. Oh, not going to catch him this time around. Morning. Really the only one. He's been very passive in this one because he's been split pushing all three games effectively. But this time around, he's just been off on his own. He's like, well, lost that fight. I'm off again, peacing out with Lissandra and trying to take the waves down. He's actually doing a good job at keeping maybe the wave pressure on towards you know, Flash Wolves, which is probably slowing them down more than they'd like right now. But that is about all. That's the only positive I can see for TPA at the moment. Uh, effectively, is the is the best possible thing to do normally. But in this exact situation, you have to understand and, and see what you're good at and when you're bad at. Uh, if he doesn't have a, a good engage into them, they're gonna lose the game. This is for sure. Yeah. So he should be, instead of uh, farm, he should be looking for a side engage and try to get a, an engage on Caitlyn or well, Jace better Jace. And oh, they have Quizzy Versaches already. So yeah. <laughs> Both AD carries have Quizzy Versace. This is not good. No. <laughs> I'll get the damage, but they need to lock them up so the rest of the team can really finish them off there, which will be taken away. And we see the push in now on towards that inner tower, the final one left standing here for the Taipei Assassin. It's going to go down, no real problem. A few rockets from Corky coming out, but nothing that will scare the Yoey Flash Wolves away from it. Now, although you have this uh, double Sonyas already on Kasserine and, and Lissandra, this is their only way to win actually get a good engage bait a lot of spells into them bait you know as much as possible and if if uh, if uh, flash wolves uh, miss positions they have a good chance of coming back stake is pushing the super minions up that mid while them shock blasts keep raining through they have to catch he's Look on looping she, she's oh, looking jay. for it. yeah he wants to get run around that side flash not available though for jay so <laughs> Gets instead, <laughs> takes a he got the of boot house. in the head, man. <laughs> <laughs> boot to the head. Chowie caught out. Oh, there's the Zonius. But does stop the Piltover. Stops a fair bit of damage. But look at Snake. He's just tanking the entire team around the side. He's going to hop, skip over that wall. And they will keep the pressure on that mid lane. Sorry, bot top lane. Nearly swat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we knew what you meant. We knew what you meant. And he got tired the hard way. Yeah. Uh, I mean... I can't see how you... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Well, I'm sorry. Casa, it's too late or too early. Casa You're missing the, the comeback Yeah, now. he went diving in. The comeback is indeed maybe on here. Maple having to use that acceleration gate to get out of there. And well, Casa went deep. The rest of his team did not follow through. Oh, so I've lost it. He's lost it. He's gone. You back with us? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was too bad. It was too bad. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I apologize. What? Well, I also, <laughs> while we've got a little bit of a lull in the game, want to ask you why, of all days when it's actually snowing from the three days that you've been here, have you not got a scarf on, which is the only acceptable time when a man should wear a scarf? <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have a, a good reason. So uh, it, it, it was, I think, the, the scarf uh, became me instead of me just wearing the scarf. I became a scarf <laughs> itself. I, I, really, I, like I, really don't, I really don't want people to be like, also not a scarf. No, no, no. I want it just to be a compliment, you know? A little compliment that I use every now and then. I, it, I, I'm not a scarf -er. I'm it, Carlos, and I use scarves sometimes. You're going to change your name to a symbol next? So, or <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I love scarves, though. And actually, in summer, I love them more. We know. We know. We've seen all the pictures. We've got a lot of them. This could be the fourth dragon <laughs> of the game for the OE Flash Wolves. But Taipei Assassins, they may try and challenge for this one. They could try and sneak in and get the smite down. They do not get it, though. Yoey Flash Wolves managed to get man. it. Sta <laughs> Stake does get the big now. He's going to transform just in time. Wins will go down. Some damage, the rest though, of eh? TPA, they have to run. Oh, can they get morning? Actually, he'll use his Zonyas there. They're pretty low at this point. Ooh. He's going to put down his W there, but they're just being ripped to pieces. Four dead. Jay's going to be trying to run. Flash binding. He will flash away from it. There's 20 seconds for Jarvan, 30 seconds for the other three. They could actually just push through and win the game right here. To be fair, props to them. Like They did a great team fight right there. Like Three of them were like 10% HP. That was actually good enough. Super minions on the tower, along with the rest of your flash walls. Nexus turret one goes down. Nexus turret will two will fall. Jay gets hammered there by Maple. Jumps on top of him. This will be game number three going the way of the Yoey flash walls. They're not out of this yet, ladies and gentlemen. They've picked up their first game of this best of five. TPA finally are challenged. Yeah, they played really good, man. It was actually a perfect, perfect game. These guys are good.
And look what it means to them there as well. You saw so, so very happy. And to, to lose this one 3-0 after losing the LMS game as well would be kind of like, ah, can we actually beat these guys? Are we good enough to actually take down TPA? But this one shows that they were. And it's funny what happens when you change your bands after, you know, go for something mm. a little bit different there. Go against what's worked for TPA in the first two games and in the games before that even as well. And that will give a bit of renewed confidence, much needed renewed confidence, I think, as well for the OE Flash Wolves. Still a long way to go, though. They have to win another two to win the game. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Dexter, you've rejoined us, of course, for this one. What do we take from it? Was it simply the pick and bans turning things around? I mean, they literally went for everything TPA had chosen. Um, they completely changed up their strategy going into this game. They Before, they were playing a very pick style, like pick composition with the Morgana, and actually they use it as a siege tool right now. And the Jace pick actually made all the difference here, because, like I said, I really like the... Uh, pick Jace into Kassadin mm. and then make sure that you just keep on going because Kassadin needs time to ramp up and the second you start grouping up, take all the towers, use that power spike like uh, Oslot said, 20 minute mark, he has um, the I, uh, the, the brutalizer, br brutalizer last the whisper Mara and Mone. the Mura Mana. Yeah, exactly. and that's when you can just hit on towers, take everything but also we have to say that uh, the, the dive at bot lane, the level 2 dive actually contributed a lot to that, that game. That was really good. That was very, very good and a lot like the whole game pretty much depended on that, how they got ahead of that, yeah. Yeah, uh, you, you could say that was a gamble. At the same time, they tried. Uh, you were, you saw they were moving around the tower. Mm -hmm. You saw it was like either win or lose the game right there. It was actually so crucial, and they uh, they did it so well, you know. They could have, honestly, if two of them would have died instead, that game was over already. Especially against, it was Lissandra and Annie. Yeah, Lissandra uh, and Annie, uh, and they missed the binding, actually, yeah. of Morgana. So yeah. it was it was really tricky. When I saw they missed the binding and they were still hanging around, I was like, whoa, this is actually really risky. But they pulled it out very well, and probably they, they probably won the game by that. Yeah, I mean, NL finished 7 0 yeah. by the end of that one. Like, a really, really solid performance by him. And you have to give, I mean, Sword Art, 13 out of 15 kills again. This is the kind of form that uh, really pushed him throughout the uh, the quarterfinal games. We'll see, though. I mean, another two games. Will Taipei Assassins say, you know what? Get rid of Morgana. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they so. Will. Oh, At one point but today. Soda Maybe. stuck to his gun so far, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see Morgana in game uh, number four. But, wow, what a great comeback. It's great to see uh, uh, we're not finally going to get a clean sweep because we've had clean sweeps throughout the quarterfinals and yeah. semifinals, 2 0s all the way. This is a best of five, remember? It's 2 1 currently to the Taipei Assassins. They were the season two world champions, but it's a very different team now. They seem to have very good teamwork, but can UA Flush Rules push them all the way? It is the Intel Extreme Masters Taipei. We'll be back with game four coming shortly.